I'll go over here set up again. Well, you see how fast that comes in? This is DJ Dustmine from 4-6 Gang, and today we're going to get into another defensive tip. But first, before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you won't miss a thing and become part of this 4-6 Gang family. So today we're going to get into um, a blitz that I have put gameplay out, and I know some people wanted the setup, so the wait is over. Here it goes. I'm in the 4-6 playbook. I'm going to be looking at the formation 3-4 bear, which has been a good defense for years. Um, you know, it's you, 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 you can hate it or love it, but you, you just got to work with a defense. Um, it, it really depends on what you get out of it. You know, uh, it could be really good pass defense. So, and that's what we're going to be looking at today, pass defense. So, I got my um, best D lineman here, right? And I got my fast, you want fast linebackers. So, these are my starters. And then, uh, this year is interesting because you got a strong safety down in the line of scrimmage instead of being in the box like how he was here or here right depending on which side your, your uh, opponent is lining up on so and then I got my um, fast linebacker here uh, you could put a fast linebacker here as well um, but you just want speed on the field I mean or you can just leave who you got Plus they're like really extremely slow. And you're gonna be using your free safety again. Um, you can uh, switch it out for a fast corner for a faster user so you can have better change of direction. It's really up to you, but I'm gonna keep it Marcus Epps right now. And we're using Eagles of course. And the play we're coming out in is uh, cover two invert. And we're gonna go against, I don't wanna go against nothing too uh, crazy as far as like like empty. You can, you, I mean you could practice against empty, see how you like it. Uh, we're gonna go against a block running back. So, uh, we'll do PA Reed first. It's not block, but we'll do it first. So this is how it looks when you come out. And then for your coaching adjustments, you can have it on base align and play ball. Um, we'll go back into it. But yeah, so uh, I like to base align, right? And you can slant inside, gets the pass, play over the top. Um, or oh, miss a step. It's usually the other way. So. As soon as after you slant inside, you're gonna um, blitz all linebackers, right? And then you're gonna press, and both linebackers should come down. Don't know why this one's not coming down. The Kobe Dean should be coming down. Sometimes you'll have. That's that's not usually the case most of the time, but sometimes it's practice mode too. All right, let's just run the play. You're gonna put your uh, user in the spy, and you're gonna guess the pass, play over the top. I'll go over the setup again. Well, you see how fast that comes in, and he's not even in his correct alignment. 
let's go over there how it looks so and that's that's what a block running the running block is coming to block so he takes that other uh, edge rusher and chop blocks him boom that's a chop block that's a chop block that should be coming back well he he got sacked so he got free rusher so base line slant inside and blitz all linebackers and then from there you're gonna they should come down on a line scrimmage just like that so kinda got like a mid blitz kinda thing going on like a you know it doesn't look like it but it's got all of those guys down there and then you still got um after all of those guys right you still got him in his zone so um so I won't really recommend this unless you know for sure what your opponent's doing what their attending tendencies are so you know um and if you have a good user so but this will get home so you're gonna guess the pass and play over the top look how fast that came in so glitchy it's on reddit came Look at that again. So he goes around them. Right. They can even flip it. You know? Go flip the play. Not gonna be as effective uh, be, because that side that I had it on is more so. Well, that side is the weak side. Let's run that again. Oh, uh, I think because the running back is uh, picking it up. Okay, so it doesn't want to do it for me. Alright, let's run it with a different play. Because I tried it with cover three. Not as, not as good. Oh, matter of fact, let me show you. Um, yeah, coach adjustment is pretty simple. You can leave uh, auto alignment, like the um, auto flip on, base align, and um, play ball, you know, because for your user, get a better animation and everything else. I keep stock, like balance and all that. You could change it if you want. Uh, and then if you guys like uh, zone drops and everything, and then you want to leave your zone drops in the comment you can it, by all means I just leave a default because I feel like that's EA being lazy it shouldn't be like that your your zones should work the way they're supposed to but you know I feel like that's just EA being lazy so alright uh, go back and cover to invert So let's see how let's see how it is against empty. Of course, you know it's gonna be screaming against empty. I think this is good. Uh, well, like a three wide receiver or four. Unless you know exactly what your opponent is doing. So we got the pass break up there, but it's it's gonna be hard. Because we got single high safety. What you can do, you can have it where it's like, um,
that safety down in the line. You could you could mess around with him and have it like that. But then you're giving up your flats and everything. So you gotta just figure out what you wanna do and based on how your opponent's tendency is going. You wanna say you're gonna hike the ball? So Yeah, so so you, you wanna normally have I would say like the most you wanna go is like uh four three just play around with how you like it um but that's the that's the setup it's pretty basically the setup base line slant inside and uh blitz all linebackers press till both linebackers in the box come down and then guess the pass shade over top shade inside over the top uh depending on where you think where your opponent's gonna go but you don't want to get beat deep and you could play around with the the uh, back, the back end of it. You could uh, push your corners back. You know, uh, let's see. You could push them back like this, and then the way you could uh, reset your play. Uh, square on PlayStation uh, and then you reset the play L2 and it goes back to how it was not sure if you guys knew that but you don't have to just stay where you're, where you're at defensively you can reset the play same thing on offense so slant inside um, splits on linebackers then you want to press so, because you press, your corners are going to come down. So, what you could do, you could base align again, and they should go up. See that? And if you want to do individually, you go individual, and then you have to know, it's weird, you have to know the players. Past manage, you had to press um, the icon of the player, and then it'll go to them. So that is MBS on that side. And then we could do you could press. You see that? So it's individual. So you have to know your players' names that you're going against, like your opponent has. Alright. Put your user in spy. Guess the pass. Or you could put your user in a blitz. It's just for better change of direction, that's all it is. Guess the pass shade over the top. Alright, so. You got beat right there. But you can have it where you can also uh, shade right, shade left, press, back off. So if you press, you can back off as well. Being back off yeah so let me know if you guys want me to do a separate video but this is I'm just explaining it in this way so you could give different looks um, and then say if you do come out in the blitz and you just feel like you're not confident with the play which you can do you could come back out in uh, cover two do like that uh, go back to the zones or you can um, go to cover three if you want right and they'll have no idea because it looks exactly the same and if you were in cover two still and you had them all blitzed right you can just um, zone all linebackers as well but you know you might as well just go back to the play so yeah, so that's my tip. Um, hope you enjoy the blitz. Hopefully, it's useful, useful, and useful, and it helps you out. Um, let me know how you like the play in the comments. Uh, if you didn't like it, if you like it, and I'll be happy to make more of these videos. I got, I'm gonna start making some 
offensive videos too because uh, I got some run tips I could share so if that interests you make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss a thing so you can be part of the 4 game family and until next time peace